My name is Daniel Armbruster and I'm responsible for the development of uh, systems. That means in, uh, in general electric electronic parts and also um, hydraulics and pneumatics. Overmore, I'm responsible for the GT3R hybrid car as a project manager and in my team there was uh, the car developed and also um, the race experience in the last year was done in, in that team. The basis of the car is uh, GT3R, so parallel to the development of the hybrid system we developed uh, the car for implementing the, the hybrid system and uh, brought everything together, carried out some tests in Weissach um, at the test track and then we, we started the first uh, VLN races at the Nürburgring. The main important thing is um, that we um, didn't have a, a battery system, we have a flywheel. A flywheel is similar to an electric motor and you can store the energy, the electric energy, um, by um, kinetic energy. If you push the, the brake pedal, the electric machines at the front axle um, are in a generator mode, you can re recuperate brake energy. With this energy you can spin up the flywheel and um, the energy is converted from electrical energy to kinetic energy. So um, if you want to accelerate or use the, the additional um, generated energy, you can push the boost pedal and you can release this energy. The flywheel runs down and the additional energy runs up the electric motors at the front axle. The main important thing is we only use brake energy and with this ad uh, additional brake energy we can accelerate the car, we can use that energy for example to improve the performance of the car but also to reduce the fuel consumption of the combustion engine. When we started we decided to use two uh, electric motors uh, so that we can drive every single wheel at the front axle separately so we are able to uh, speed up one wheel and we can um, brake or reduce the speed um, at the other wheel. So we have um, two independent, unindependent wheels and uh, we call it torque vectoring. We can accelerate or um, reduce the speed um, electrically and um, with this torque vectoring we can also improve uh, the performance in uh, during um, curves for example. You can stabilize the car's car much, much better in, in curves. It is um, very interesting also for the team members. We, we are a very small team and um, the time schedule was very tight. Um, so it was an advantage for a challenge for every team member. And I think also um, to, to get the, that positive feedback from, from the journalist, journalists, but also from the fans is very exciting for us and we are really pr uh, proud to be a part of this um, post story.